In the world of coding, AI is quickly transforming the landscape. Tools like ChatGPT, Claude, and Cursor AI are changing the way we think about code and how we write code. But does that mean end of programmers as we know them? In this video, we will dive deeper into the role AI plays in software development today. We will look into pros and cons of using AI in software development, and most importantly, how you as a software developer can stay ahead of AI-driven future. Whether you're a seasoned developer or someone who is just starting out, this video will give you insights that you will need not just to survive but thrive in this AI-driven future for coding. I've used tools like ChatGPT, Claude and Cursor AI. Among all of these tools, Cursor AI stands out. The reason being it is a code editor. So it integrates really well with your project and it understands the context of your project to some extent. On the other hand, tools like ChatGPT and Claude do not have the full context of the project. So you have to do some initial work to give information about the project. And once these two tools start generating the code, you will have to copy and paste the code manually in your project, which can slow down things significantly. Now let's look at some of the best use cases for using AI in coding. Number one on the list is documentation assistance. AI can quickly help you find the answers that you're looking for without having to go through huge documentation. Number two on the list is generating configurations for certain tools. AI is great for setting up configuration for tools like Elasticsearch. However, you will still need to understand how the configuration itself works behind the scenes in case you run into issues. Number three on the list is brainstorming project ideas. AI can analyze the project requirements and suggest the best tools and technologies you can use to implement that project. Number four on the list is learning new or existing technologies. AI is a great tool to learn new or existing technologies as you can go back and forth. You can keep on asking questions to AI while you're learning a certain technology. Now let's look at some of the shortcomings of using AI in coding. Number one on the list is generating UI components. AI can help you generate simple components, but as soon as the complexity of certain UI components increases, AI will fail to generate code for those specific components. Number two on the list is handling complex logic. AI will start hallucinating when you have to deal with very complex logic. So you have to ensure that Every time you generate code using AI, you have to double, triple check your code before integrating that into your own project. Number three on the list is debugging and troubleshooting. Now I have seen times when developers generate code using AI and start using it in their project without actually understanding the code, which can later down the line give you troubles in terms of debugging that code in case if something goes wrong. So you have to ensure that you understand the code the AI is generating. Number four on the list is security and performance optimization. AI generated code doesn't always consider performance optimizations and security vulnerabilities. So you have to make sure after you integrate AI generated code into your code base, make sure it's performant and there are no security vulnerabilities. Now let's see how I use AI in my day-to-day -day workflow. I use tools like Claude AI and ChatGPT whenever I want to learn a new concept or whenever I want to generate, let's say, configuration of for tools like Elasticsearch, etc. Whereas Cursor AI is my primary code editor, which helps me in generating simple code snippets or generate TypeScript types. I also use Cursor AI to understand existing code bases quickly. After integrating AI into my day-to-day -day workflow, I noticed that my coding speed was decreasing significantly because of code generation provided by Cursor AI. Now, in order to ensure my typing speed doesn't decrease, what I do to tackle that is, let's say two days a week, I will just turn off the auto-suggestion features of Cursor AI. This way, I will have to type out the code every time without relying on AI. Now on to the main question, will AI replace programmers? As of now, I don't think AI will replace programmers, but it will reduce the number of programmers that are needed to build a certain project. For example, let's say if a company 
employed 10 developers prior to AI boom to build a certain project after the AI boom and using existing AI tools company can pretty much build the same project with let's say four or five developers because AI will significantly increase their productivity. Last but not the least, how you can stay ahead in this AI driven future when it comes to coding. Number one on the list is learn to build AI systems. Understanding AI at deeper level will give you a competitive edge. Don't just use tools like ChatGPT or Claude or Cursor. Learn how do they work behind the scenes. Number two on the list is master AI assisted coding. The best developers will be those who know how to use these AI tools efficiently rather than completely ignoring it. Number three on the list is improve problem solving skills. AI can generate code for you, but strong foundational skills in programming and problem solving will set you apart. At last, I just want to say don't be the programmer who refuses to use AI. Instead, be the one who knows how to use it best. The developers who will succeed in this AI era are the ones who will learn to use these tools and integrate them in their workflow efficiently and increase their productivity. My last piece of advice is being adaptable. Learn how to use these tools, but at the same time, make sure your core coding fundamentals are super clear. Position yourself as a developer who understands these tools and someone who uses these tools to improve their productivity. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.